waking up and being sad. You know, I'm up and I woke up today in Florida in paradise in a place I've always wanted to come and still want to be here. And I'm very thankful to live my dream. And what I can tell you is, even when you're living your dream, you're still going to wake up and feel sad certain days. I often share that in life because I want to share a whole life with you. I don't want to share highlights. I don't want to be like celebrities, like people who are famous. They only share the things that are the very best highlights and they make people jealous and envious. Like, oh, I wish I was them. I wish I had all, you know. What I can tell you is that when I had a home for 15 years, there were mornings I would wake up with sad thoughts. When I live in my car, I've uh, done for two years, there's moments when I had sad thoughts. There's, when I lived in New Jersey, I'd wake up, there's moments I had sad thoughts. Uh, I live in Florida now, there's moments I wake up, I have sad thoughts. Now, I'm not going to lie, I, I I smile because I'm looking at a palm tree and 80 degree weather uh, here at the end of November, so... I'm getting ready to go for a walk and that's going to put a smile on my face. And that's, that's what you have to do. Look, you're going to think of your failures. You're going to think of people who passed away. You're going to think about mistakes you made, arguments you got in, whether it was about politics, life. You're going to think about money lost. You're going to think about relationships lost. You're going to think about your dreams are dead and you know no matter what, you can't get them back. There are certain things in life that are going to take hold of your spirit and make you sad. And the answer is get up and start moving. You know, I'm going to get ready to go for a walk. Then I'm going to go to the gym. Um, then I'll take a break. I'll have something to eat. And I'll just continue that. It's not busy. I, I don't believe in just keeping yourself busy. And I, I try to do things that are healthy and productive. Uh, even making videos. For me, documenting my thoughts and self-expressing is a level of letting it out, right? You know, and so, and even that has taken me a while to grow and mature. And even there's times like when I think about some of my early videos, like, you know, you know barking at certain people and probably being a little bit too rough with certain people, you know, certain people, I don't want to say they deserve it, but certain people, you know, but we grow. Okay. And so how do we defeat sad thoughts? Start moving. Because... You cannot sleep off sad thoughts. You know, you cannot, uh, you, you can't avoid the topic either. I mean, and that's why I address it. I mean, it's just what it is. Uh, but again, we take time to acknowledge our blessings, our health, uh, you know, which is a blessing if you have your health. I and mean, there may be some people in this watching this video that don't have it. But whatever you can find in your life that you have, you just try to be thankful. And then you try to make the most of it. You know, what's the answer to life, you know, make the most of each day as best you can. And as you start moving, as you get going, you know, you'll feel a little bit better. You know, will you ever feel a hundred percent where there's never any sad thoughts? No, not in this world. This, this isn't heaven. This is earth. Remember that. But I believe through self-care and, you know, you'll feel better. Uh, even when you do self-care, sometimes you're still going to be sad. I mean, it's all just the rhythm of life, uh, you know, some unexplainable, some mystery part of it, but, you know, don't mind fuck that either. I mean, you know, I, I got down that road. I mean, don't, there's so many philosophies. There's, you know, today's Sunday is a very religious day, and I, and I spent a big portion of my uh, youth researching and seeking faith, and it's, it's been a great part of my life, you know, God, Jesus, and I know people of all different religions and of no religion. It helps, uh, but even with faith, you're going to be sad. What did Jesus say before he died? He questioned God. God, why did you forsake me? What did Job do to righteous God in the Old Testament? He questioned God after he was sick and broken down long enough. Any of us, including me, can question our faith if we get broken enough. But faith is good. And we're saved by grace. Not that we deserve it. Like sometimes there's a red flag when I see like people say, oh, you deserve this. Or you Look, we're, we all don't, you know, some things we may deserve, some things we may not. You know, it's like, you know, by the grace of God. And so seek faith, you know, seek self-care, seek healthy relationships. Those are all things that will help. But the elimination of sadness is not a reality in this world, but get moving. Get up, put your sneakers on, go for a walk. And I'm in Florida, it's a little bit easier for me to say because it's about 80 degrees. So I don't want to rub that in. But, you know, for many years I did that in 
New Jersey, especially when I started trying to like, you know, when you're young, you know, I guess you have sad thoughts when you're young, but I think as you get older, you know, you start to understand the reality of life more. So, you know, you don't have that youth, uh, ignorance, you know, like, you know, like, well, once I, you know, sometimes when you're young, you think, well, once I establish my career, once I get married, once I do this, then you think like everything will work out. But then you get older and you realize, well, that ain't going to work out either. And then you get like what they call like a midlife crisis where you say, well, everything in life is meaningless. And it's true. Uh, but, but we stay positive and we go for a walk. Okay. And, um, and that's all we can do. And, uh, so I wanted to share that with you, uh, because on this channel, uh, I share a lot about living a nomad life, living a non-conforming life at living out of my car. I share lef- lessons I learned from living in a house and who knows what the future will bring, but I want to be my whole self. And I don't want to just talk about things that I know many people may just want me to talk about, but this part of life. And that means something to me to share that. And, um, so that's what I wanted to do. All right. Peace and love and try to stay as positive as possible and get moving to get rid of those th- sad thoughts as best you can. Peace.